Hey, yo, Will, you up yet? Oh, Will, Will, they're right there. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Manny Ventura. <laughs> Will, what you all tired about? <sighs> you know that effect when some one person yells everybody on. It's your boy, Will, is blessed. Alright, Will. Oof. Wake up! Stop <laughs> sleeping on your dreams, baby! You <laughs> need to get up. You need to get upgraded. You need to bring that value out. You need to bring it all out. Cause we ain't sleeping here. We're not sleeping. Don't ever sleep on your dreams. Even not for one second. Woo. You got to understand what we talking about here. We talking about your dreams. Mm. So wake the up. I'm not going to say what I wanted to say, but you get what I'm trying to say. Wake up for your dreams. Mm. Cause your dreams will sleep on you. And, and, and you heard what he says, like, many many of y'all are sleeping. Your dreams will sleep on you! <laughs> That's kind of like a scary movie part <laughs> where you just be thinking, okay, this part's not going to be the end of Your dreams don't sleep on you! But for real, many of y'all are sleeping on your dreams, mm. you're sleeping on your goals, you're sleeping on your visions, you're sleeping on saying the things that you want to do. You're sleeping! You're sleeping. Listen to me. Sleep, uh, David Shan said it the best, sleep is the new broke. Mm. So when you sleeping, you really sleeping. And a wise man once said to me, man, Tom, the reason why you tired mm. is because you have not yet got up. <laughs> that, went, that went past my bald head. You better say it again, Will. The reason why you're tired is because you're not getting up. When I learned this principle, Manny, it's a simple principle. And listen to me, like, it's always the simple things that make the biggest impact. Ooh. And when he told me this, yo, from now on, like, when my alarm goes off, I just get up. I don't even sit there and be like, I need five minutes. Mm -mm. So I get right up. Tell right? how it is. Because the reason why you sleep the way you sleep is because you... You don't have nobody attached to your dreams. Mm -hmm. See, I me, well. when I get up, I think about my mom, mm. I think about my wife, I think about my baby girl, my mm. two sons, I think about Tell my em. grandmother, Tell right? I think about the people who counted on Tell me, em. I think about my online community, Tell I em. think about the authors, Tell I, do. I, I think about everything that it is that I need to accomplish. So yo, if I even take one second more of sleeping, I'm never going to be able to produce. Just one second, Manny, mm. ruins my whole day. One second. Not even a minute. One second. If I don't get up when I need to get up, it, it wrecks my whole day. Wow. Well, I spoke on my last video saying I'm going to give the folks today my favorite timing. Come on. Let's go. And I just wanted to bring it back because I'm a man of my word. If I'm going to say something, I'm going to do it. Mm. You know what's my favorite time? And this this goes kind of, you know, for, for my Northeasterners right here, right? Daylight savings time. You know why, Will? I get an extra hour to go after my dreams, Will. When the hour goes back, I get an hour forward. Woo! That means I get to sleep an hour less because I get to think of... An hour more of my dreams that are going to be possible, that are going to be attainable, that are very specific, that I know what I want because I got the eye of the tiger, Will. Mm. I don't ever sleep on my dreams. Will, one of the ways that I focus on how to go after my dreams, because a lot of people tell me this, man, you know, I got dreams too, but I never really accomplished them. How come you do and I don't? I got the simple solution. How specific is your dream? How specific is it? Makes sense. I'm going to give you a, a little story here, right? When I first got into real estate, right, I wanted to learn how to, how to flip houses. So I, I did all the studies, all the studies I wanted to do, right, and, and I got all the books I wanted to, to get, and went, but my dream expanded a little bit more. I said, hmm, one house, huh? Flip one house. I think my bigger dream is I want to buy a hundred units in a house. Mm. So I was like, all right, 
I'm gonna be specific. I want a hundred units that I could buy that's only 40 or 50 percent occupied. Be specific. I want to buy a property like this that the rents average from 1100 to 1350. I want to be specific. So when I so when I was doing this specific dreaming, right? That's what I call a specific dreaming. I was dreaming, dreaming. I was like, all right, how can I do this? I started flipping houses and I started seeing how that works, right? But then I said, man, something's missing. I need the financials. I need to know how, how is it attainable that I could, I could buy a hundred unit of property and, and, and control it myself. I got, I, got to, I got to reel in the numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So at my job, right? Because I got, I got a little job too that's all about real estate, right? I said, you know what? I'm going after a, a job that only deals with commercial property meaning i'm gonna learn the ins and outs of all the commercial aspects of how to buy a hundred unit before i buy the hundred unit mm. so when i step into my reality right because you can dream all you want but you need to step in that reality at some point you need to go okay what's the first step what's the step after that and what's the step that's going to push me to be upgraded Right, Will? So I, I took in this job, right? And it's two hours from my house, Rhode Island to Boston. You say, man, that's only an hour. It's only an hour. But what about the bus, the train, and then the 30 minutes that I, that I take just before going to work to make sure I'm good and I'm going to go and give it all I got? Because, see, I'd rather give it three years of all I got than trying to squeeze six years of half, half work in that. So I said, okay, Will, right, and wh whoever's listening, I said, for me to buy what I really want in life, I need to break, break down the numbers. I need to get it where I understand it so well, so masterful, that when it's my time to strike, I strike with, with vengeance. I strike like my dream, like play me. And I strike where, where I'm like, hey, yo, Dream, get over here. We got to talk. Mm. Dream, get over here. Mm. I know what's up. Dream, get over here. I woke up, up already. I woke up. I know what I want. I'm going to get what I want. And that's, that's how specific I'm going to be. You're going to see in three or four years what I'm going to attain. And the reason why I know it is because every specific goal that I've put and I've said I was going to do, I've completed. So Will, when I tell you that your dream has to be specific and you need to wake up, wake up, get a dream specific and go after it. Mm. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. You know, I have people on my job that's been there for 15 years and they still can't realize how to put the pieces together. <laughs> when you have a specific dream and you have a specific goal, <laughs> those specific things that you want will come true. Mm. They will come true. Mm. But I need you to be specifically actioned to get that dream that you want. Mm. And wake the up. Mm. All right, folks. <laughs> wow, wow. Just a little bit, you know. I like that. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I love how you keep your word. Mm. I love how you embrace the fact that you're very strategic in your goals. The more specific it is, the more easier the targets to hit. And one thing that people fail to realize, Manny, is that in order to build a building, you need a team. Mm. And in order to have a team, you need to realize that you can't do it all on your own. And within construction workers, when they get the blueprint, when they get the manual, if one thing's off, everything's off. Mm. If everything's on, everything's on. Mm. So you got to look at your life and be like, yo, am I placing this relationship perfect in this blueprint? Am I budgeting my money perfectly in this blueprint? And you need to understand that, yo, whatever is built from this blueprint, you put it together. Mm. 
And you can't blame nobody for it. Like, you looked at the blueprint. You said you want to make this much. You said you want to drive this. You said you want to move here. You said you want to write this kind of book. You said that you want this kind of relationship or marriage, whatever it may be. You said that. So when you put it together without understanding your dream, understand that that's what you signed up for. Mm. Remember, you signed the final document saying, I do. I want this. To be, you know what I'm saying, this project. What I want you guys to understand is three things. The first thing you need to understand is that dreams only can become a reality when you stop sleeping. Mm. Ooh, say that one more time. Right. Dreams. <laughs> I don't think I can say it again. It's just it, off the top of the dome, man. It was just too good. Dreams. It was just so good. Remain dreams until you get up and do something about it. Okay. Right? There's no alarm clock for success. Mm. What do I mean by that? You're going to have to pick and choose who you need in your life. See, if the people in your life are not hungry like you are, then that means they're not there for you. In other words, you don't need an alarm clock to wake you up. What you need is your appetite to get you up. How hungry are you? And the third principle I'm going to tell you right now, plain and simple and be very clear with it, mm. if you believe, you can hold it in your hands. Mm. If you believe, you can hold your reality. If you believe, you can become successful. Success is determined by how hungry you are. Dang. I like that. I like that, Will. Will. You know, we talk about the times that we do well. Hmm. Let's talk about short a time that we slept too much. Hmm. What's one time in your life that you slept too much and you said, "Man, I'm never gonna sleep like that again," because because it because it blocked me from what I wanted to do. Something short and simple because we're all humans. Yeah. We're not we're not gonna say we're human. Yeah, we've slept on things we're not supposed to sleep on, but we have. And I want to talk about that and talk about. You know, what What made you wake up? Well, I'm just going to go. I'm going to be real with it, man. Um, the online academy. Mm. Um, I talked about the academy so many times, so many times, so many times. And I talked about it so much, man, mm. that the academy fell asleep. Mm. I had listened to me. Like, T.D. Jake says it perfect. Like, your mind is what births out your ideas. So, true pregnancy is not in a mother's womb. It starts in the mind. Mm. Right? So I was just, I had the dream, but I didn't have to grind to match the reality to make the dream. So I was sleeping, and then I'll just continue to sleep, wake up 12 o'clock, wake up 1 o'clock, not even caring, just be like, oh, and watch TV. I'm like, well, what are you doing? Mm. Like, yo, this is the perfect time. There's people out here who do not know who they are. They don't have no clarity. Mm. They don't know their identity. They continue to try to copy people. Like, yo, do you understand the profit that you can bring in, not just for the money, but you can help millions of people through this little online community if you stop putting the dream asleep. So it's okay to have the dream, but the dream needs to become a reality. Like this ain't no Peter Pan, like this is real life. Like yo, if you want that life that you want to have and you gotta stop sleeping, you gotta stop sleeping. So that, that would be for me. What about you, man? Well, I remember, right, when I wanted to write my book, right, and for those that don't know, I wrote a book that's called The Greatest Love Book You'll Ever Read. Comes out March 13th, right? March 13th is coming out. The Greatest Love Book You'll Ever Read. And for four years, Will, I slept on it. Mm. I wanted to write this book, but I just slept on it. I couldn't get, get I couldn't get it out. But there was one thing that lingered every time I fell asleep. It would wake me up, Will. I said, you know what? There's a lot of people out there that gave their all to a relationship and it didn't work out. And they went the wrong route. Yeah. Thinking that you'll never get that person again. You'll never get that love again. See, it ain't all about real estate. It ain't about 
all of that. Sometimes it's your emotional awareness. Well, sometimes you gotta break it down emotionally. Yeah. So I wrote this book to help people get out of those relationships that have lingered on them for so long. I slept on it for four years, but when I realized that the book I wrote can inspire people, can help them move from a place they are in life that they feel so cold, so unloved, they can move from that to a special, warm place mm -hmm. that they go, you know what? That's something that already happened. I'm ready to move a new direction in life. I'm ready to move to a new place where I feel comfortable and I feel in control. Yeah. You see, sometimes in life you sleep on something so long that unless you wake up, you're not gonna, you're not gonna know that you slept on it. Mm. And when I slept on my book, it hurt me so much because for four years I couldn't help nobody. When I wrote my book and I gave out the previews to certain people just to see if, how, how would it interact with them, folks, the comments and the feedback that I get back, it's like, Nanny, this has helped me so much. I went through something similar. Manny, this has, you know, allowed me to see a bigger picture. And I said, wow. I slept on my own book for four years until I wrote it. Mm. Now that I've written it, and it's coming out March 13th, folks. That's when I noticed that I can inspire many people to wake up. Cool. And to get past that setback that they had. You see, a setback is a setup for a comeback. Let me say that one more time. A setback is a setup for a comeback. And so you got to understand that your comeback is right there. That comeback is for you. I know it's there. I've seen it because I've slept on it and I've woken up. Mm. I've woken up, people. Mm -hmm. I've woken up. I'm ready. The eye of the tiger is ready. The book is written. The house is bought. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to deliver in a way that could emotionally inspire you to go after what you want. And to wake up and never sleep on your dreams. Never sleep. On your dreams. <laughs> Folks, I'm Manny Ventura. It's your boy Willis Blessed. Man, and we got, you know, we love, love, love all the likes, the shares. Man, the love you guys are giving is just tremendous. Absolutely. It's really out of this world. Like, for real, for real. Like, we, we really, really love everything you guys are doing for us. Yeah. And, you know, drop, drop in the topics, drop in anything you guys want us to talk about. Yeah. But in reality, like, we just... Honestly, love giving this information, yeah. love giving this knowledge. Yep. You fire us up. Yeah, Me, sure you know, Will and I, you, you make us want to do this. Yeah. Will, where can they find you on Facebook? William Winfield. Manny Ventura. Will, talk to them about that Instagram. Will is blessed. Manny Real Estate. <laughs> Will, talk to them about that Twitter. Twitter. So Twitter, you can find me at will at willisbless thirty eight. You can find me on Snapchat L Manin E L M A N I N one three. And just for the special folks that want to send a call or a text, I'm giving my number today. Whew. I mean, oh, wait, wait, wait. We should save that for the next part. <laughs> We're gonna make you wait for that one. <laughs> hey. You know he's a man of his word. I'm a man of my word. I'm going to give you the number to my phone in the next episode. So I'm keeping y'all waiting, folks. <laughs> I'm Manny Ventura. William Winfield. Talk to you guys soon. Let's go.